Best versus best possible. This is something that I have come across many, many times in my role as consultant and as coach. Um, when you assume, and I know this is an assumption, when you assume that you have a good idea of what would be good for this company, for this team, for this person, and you give that ideal the number of 100, then the next question is, well, what is actually the next step that this system is capable of going? And often the very frustrating reality is that the number you would give to that answer is 5 or 10 maybe. Definitely not 100. So what should you do then? It's absolutely pointless of trying to go for 100 as long as the system, as long as the situation is like that. So your decision is not, shall we go for 100 and fail? Your decision is, shall we go for the five or for nothing at all? And maybe when we have reached the five, the situation will develop, will evolve, and at 1.10 should be possible. And then after some time, 20 should be possible, but not 100 right now. So how can you do that? Uh, very easy. You simply ask yourself the question, what is the best thing that this system can actually do or can actually digest as next and put that in relation to your ideal or to the idea where you want to go to. I have seen this um, also turn out extremely positively in an example where um, there was a head of HR who observed that the country manager of managers of the organization all across Europe, um, they were actually not managing very well. They had learned their trade from experience and done many things just by habit and not really thought through. And so he came up with the idea to offer them a training program. And of course these country managers who were all these kind of hero, warlord kind of people, um, they have responded by saying, yeah, maybe people, my colleagues would need the training, but they can learn from me, you know, because I have been so successful and look at me and why should I learn anything? Why should I, I be in need of any training? And so they refused. And so the next question was exactly what is the best possible step? And the head of HR came up with the suggestion to start training the team leaders. And he asked the country managers and the country managers said, oh, of course, yes, because they're still young, they still have to learn, send them to a training, and that would be good for them. And what happened next was that these team leaders all across Europe went to a training. They become very systematic in the way they managed. And of course, also everybody of these team leaders managed in the same way. So there were new routines in the company, how meetings were managed, how priorities were set, how objectives were agreed and so on. And suddenly over time, some country managers approached the head of HR again and said, you know what, do you have some, you know, some really good training for me somewhere? Maybe, you know, not visible to the rest of the organization, but I think that would be really, really helpful. And so he achieved his goal in the end but over an oblique way by first doing what was possible and not aiming directly what was best.